Aptura is short on cash and may need to modify the design in order to manufacture solar-powered electric vehicles. Why is it the case? Is the U.S. government's politics surrounding EVs hindering Aptura's ability to raise capital for production? Although the schedule for real deliveries may not be as optimistic as it sounds, startup car maker Aptura said that it has started building the body of its three-wheel solar electric vehicle with the intention of putting it into production. CEO Steve Fambro stated that Aptera selected Italy's capital pool company, CPC, group for its incredible ability to set up a carbon fiber body production line in as short as nine months after meeting funding targets in a video speech that went along with the update. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, please kindly support this channel by clicking on the like and subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help YouTube learn of your preferences and enable you receive new video updates every time they are uploaded. Thank you. Let's get going. It then made the unexpected statement that it was still absent. Launch edition car production requires extra funding, and Fambro said, we plan to share delivery timeline details as soon as we can. That seems to go against what the firm stated earlier in February, when it made it apparent that the funds needed to fund the initial phases of production will come from the conclusion of its accelerator program, a form of crowdfunding that also guaranteed one of the vehicle's first 2,000 build slots. By assembling those parts, Aptera has essentially declared that it will stop manufacturing cars in 2024 this means that a manufacturing start will probably not happen until 2025. After the update, Green Car Reports contacted Aptera. However, they have not received a response as of yet. If the update's wording is misinterpreted, Aptera will provide more accurate information, and this report will be updated accordingly. November 2022 saw the announcement of Aptera's deal with the capital pool company, CPC, Group of Italy, and January 2023 saw the release of the EV's launch edition model. By October 2023, it was claimed that it was moving closer to production after acquiring some manufacturing equipment. Some upcoming modifications to vehicle design were also mentioned in the company's report. The business declared, we will continue to refine our vehicle design to ensure efficiency and cost effectiveness leading up to the start of production. A production plan that requires less capital reduces risk for our shareholders and allows Aptera to get to market more quickly. Once updated supply agreements are inked, we will share more information. Stated Fambro, We want you to know that changes to our vehicle design are taken very seriously and only made if they require significantly less capital, including research and development and tooling cost. Last week, Aptera released an update that included a sneak peek at its owner app which will let users preheat the cabin and monitor their vehicle's solar production while they're not using it. Sample battery modules have been produced by CTNS, the Korean partner for batteries. A first batch of production intent battery packs is still pending. The company has stated that it will shortly release additional details regarding battery management. Assembly jigs are being used at Capital Pool Company, TPC, in Italy to assemble suspension and chassis parts. Eventually, automated assembly will be supported by high-volume robots. Additionally, it hinted to a crash simulation for the body structure for the first time and expressed excitement in comparing it to the production intent construction. With handling performance that can outpace certain sports cars and enough electricity from its solar cells to cover a lightweight body shell, Aptera has a lot of expectations to live up to. Certain owners may never have to worry about charging, the launch edition was unveiled in January 2023 and boasts a 4.0 second zero to 60 amp acceleration time, a 42 cool battery pack with up to 400 miles of range, and a 700 watt solar system that can provide 40 miles of range per day, according to the company. Even before the wave of American market EV brands switched to charging standards last year, Aptor announced that it would be using the Tesla North American Charging Standard NACS port. The company's recent redesign and struggles to raise adequate funds are met with negating development. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Please remember to subscribe to this channel to motivate us to give you rich contents like this. Thanks for watching. See you when the next video is uploaded.